Hey, what's up guys? I just want to do a quick video updating you on the Electro Jailbreak scene. So if you guys haven't been keeping up with the news lately or following some of Cool Star's tweets, boy, you're in for a ride as today there have been some major updates and just some major drama going on on Twitter. So if you guys saw my last Jailbreak update video, you'll know that Cool Star, who's the main developer at Play developing and engineering the Electro Jailbreak, he sent out the first copies of the Electro Jailbreak with Cydia support to developers, and he called this release the Release Candidate 1 version of his Jailbreak. Since Coolstar only intended this Release Candidate version of Electra to be received by trusted developers, he made that public on Twitter by asking Tweak developers to directly message him for a copy, so that they could update their tweaks and third-party dependencies to work on his Jailbreak. And this right here is the first move that frustrated a bunch of people in the jailbreaking community. And I'm sad to say that there really are two types of people in this community. There are ones that are respectful and appreciative of the hard work done by developers, and the others who are just greedy, immature kids who have no patience or self-respect and just will comment a bunch of hate on Twitter for no reason, other than the fact that they're mad because they can't get their hands on a jailbreak today. So when people saw this first version was a private release, all of a sudden everyone on Twitter was a developer, saying, hey, I'm new to the scene, please send me a copy, and obviously Coolstar was not going to send it to any of them. He even set up a private Discord channel to better control the situation, but alas, that did not work, everyone was just nagging him and it just kept adding up. And another YouTuber made some great comments about the situation and about the jailbreaking community as a whole, and I have to say he was spot on. It's just absolutely ridiculous that these people who don't contribute anything at all feel that they deserve everything from everyone and that if they don't get their way, they'll make the lives for the developers who are actively contributing to the community just a living nightmare. And I'm glad Coolstar is one of the developers who releases so many beta updates and takes his time updating as much as he possibly can for the end user before making a public release because in the end, his jailbreak is going to be vastly more stable and secure than something like the Yalu jailbreak ever was. So with all this nonsense going on with all the people on Twitter, one of the trusted developers who Coolstar actually sent his original release to, he actually leaked online the release candidate version of Electra for everyone to get a hold of. And with this move, people rushed to download and install it on their devices, even though it was a bootleg copy of the jailbreak and it was filled with just a ton of ads and incomplete files. And I have to just say good luck on uninstalling that. I've learned from my mishaps with the Tupanga jailbreak that it's not always an easy thing to keep your device clean and running properly. Anyway, most of the time when a developer or a company releases some software and it gets illegally uploaded online like this, that's about the end of the story. They can work on a new version or update it and add further security against this, but most of the time there's nothing that they can do about their software being pirated, at least for that original release. But with Coolstar, he took it a step further, and I applaud him for this. He tweeted out saying that for anyone who downloaded the leaked version of RC1, that they will not be able to install the final release once it comes out. Now I'm guessing that the leaked copy probably has some files in it that the final release could search for and if it found that it was present, the final release jailbreak would say something along the lines of this device is not compatible. Now others have speculated that the leaked and now modified version of RC1 that was released and that people installed, that it could contain files that could corrupt the final release or that it would cause issues on installing it. But basically in a nutshell, Coolstar said that the final release would not be compatible with devices that had the leaked copy of Electra installed. And so holy sh**. This was the move that absolutely hit all those ETA Sun spammers right in their sweet spot. And as you guessed it, they did not take it kindly and set a bunch of hate on Twitter. And the final backlash and outcome of it all is that Coolstar deleted his official Twitter account. And for a few days there, it was looking bleak if the Electra jailbreak was ever going to be finished, but a close friend of Coolstar's, actually another developer that was working on the jailbreak with him called Null Pixel, he clarified that the Electra jailbreak would be completed. And in a later tweak, he reassured the community that Coolstar was still involved with its development, although he was no longer publicly. So man, that is the crazy story, and this all happened this last week. It's sad to see that all this hate only caused a delay in the Electra Jailbreak's public release, as it was originally intended to come out on the 20th. Furthermore, before all this drama, Coolstar has already stated that this is his last public jailbreak he'll be working on. So in the end, guys, a public release of the iOS 11 jailbreak with City support is looking very promising, 
but it's almost bittersweet knowing that this will be the one and only jailbreak from this developer. Anyway, I hope in the end the community can learn from this, it's just sad to see such a wonderful art is plagued by such greedy followers. Anyway guys, I thank you for all the positive support and feedback I receive on my channel. I will let you guys know as soon as possible when this jailbreak is released to the public and if any new exploits for iOS 11.2 or above surface. But in the end, thank you guys so much for watching this video and making it to the end. If you want to keep up with my top tweak of the day series and just be informed about new information pertaining to jailbreaking, don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you head out. Also, if you enjoyed this jailbreak update video, please hit that thumbs up button so I know and I can continue to make videos just like this. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching again. Take care and until next time, this is Tony signing out.